Hello everybody and welcome to a Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies review of Mob of the Dead, the newest map for Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies. Though this map will be released as a DLC within the map pack Uprising on April 26th. Just kidding, April 16th. Missed up the dates a little bit. But we got the new map Alcatraz or Mob of the Dead which is going to be freaking awesome. And I'm excited because there's going to be so much Easter eggs they're going to put. And if you don't know what Alcatraz is, it's a highly uh, secure prison. And now the zombies have invaded, or the zombies have been in there already, and now we're going to have to fight our way out, or possibly just fight to survive, which looks freaking epic. Alcatraz is going to be an amazing map to play on. It's actually going to be pretty creepy, pretty scary, and which I think Treyarch is smart about because they're heading in the right direction now. I like Varuk style, Notch, Darren Toten, kind of the scary, freaky maps with little screams and noises in it. And that's what I like about zombies. I like zombies to be scary, and I'm sure you guys do as well. I, I'm sure you guys don't like rape training for an hours and hours and hours, as I do in this video. Obviously, Diarize is not even scary at all. No noise is nothing really that is creepy whatsoever and that's where they're going in the right direction with mob of the dead now we're going to be playing as four new characters four mobsters i forget the names off the top of my head but that's going to be awesome i'm sick of these diaries slash transit characters i can't wait to play as new characters even if they're not our old characters i still like to change in uh changing characters here which is a really good idea by track to introduce these new mobsters and mobsters are always awesome and <laughs> i mean playing as them in zombies would be awesome uh, against the zombies and everything so some sort of features I'm going to talk about here are this new like boss hellhound thing I don't know what it is um, you can go watch the trailer I'll put the link in the description as a notation on the screen as well to go watch it because it's a freaking awesome trailer and uh, there are a lot of stuff in it so mob of the dead the uh, the boss zombie I don't know what it is it looks like an advanced hellhound some sort of thing creature I don't know I don't know if it's like spits fire at you or whatever but it looks like it comes through a portal kind of and doesn't really move but I'm not sure if that's just, you know, if you stunned it or something, who the hell knows, right? But other thing I want to talk about, the mini Uzi is going to be in uh, Black Ops 2 Mob of the Dead, which is freaking awesome. Uh, another thing that I wanted to talk about was the China, no, 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 not the China. The Chicago typewriter, the PPSH, will not be there, but the Chicago typewriter, the Thompson, will be there, which is going to be awesome. And I love the Thompson. I'm glad it's making its return as the Chicago typewriter in Black Ops 2 Zombies, Mob of the Dead. But it's going to be awesome. It looks like we have um, our old guns back. Like, we have guns from Nuketown Zombies, like the LSAT. And um, we have other guns like the, um, the Olympia, as was seen on the wall. There's going to be tons of Easter eggs in this map, as I said. It looks freaking awesome. I can't wait. There's going to be also new traps. Um, I believe a bunch of new weapons, uh, probably a new wonder weapon, they better put a new wonder weapon in or else I'm going to be pissed because every map needs a new wonder weapon. No matter what everyone says, every map needs a new wonder weapon or else we're going to get tired of the old ones pretty quick. Like everyone's got tired of the silk fire, the jet gun's not counted as a wonder weapon. So it's one wonder weapon for like four maps already on Black Ops 2 and that's kind of sad, you know, one actual wonder weapon. But... Mob of the Dead looks creepy, looks scary, looks awesome. Uh, anything else I want to talk about? Let's see. The zombies look awesome. Red eyes is another big thing. Don't know why. Maybe this is back in time before anyone took control of the zombies. Maybe it was before Samantha and before Rick Toffin. That would be cool to see. I don't know why they have red eyes. I don't know what it means. Is it for someone specifically controlling them or is it just how they, you know, what they were before anyone controls them? I don't know. You have to, you have, we'll have to wait and see. The mystery box also is the same color as the zombie's eyes, kind of light, it's light orange tinge to it, and is mostly red, which looks pretty cool. We've never seen the mystery box red. We've seen it yellow, we've seen it blue, and now we're seeing red. What's next? Like, I don't know, like, green? <laughs> that would be pretty cool to see a green mystery box. I, I gotta say that. That would be pretty cool. Anyway, mystery box got that teddy bear's new Easter eggs. Looks like they might be skulls. Don't know if they're gonna be skulls or teddy bears again. Did see a teddy bear in the trailer in uh, in one of the uh, cells, so we're not sure about that. Um, there might be a boss zombie, not sure, maybe like the Shrieker or the um, Napalm zombie from Black Ops 1 on Shangri-La. Anyway, this map looks pretty cool, though. I really don't have much more to talk about. You can go see it yourself. There's tons of new stuff in that map, and it's going to be awesome. looks like a pretty damn big map, and I'm excited to see 
what we're gonna do i'm gonna put up a bunch of videos so stay tuned for that and talk to you guys later